Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at General Grievous from the Vintage Collection. Now, this figure is absolutely fantastic, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. So here it is, as you can see, it's pretty standard for the Vintage Collection cards. Um, nice image of Grievous here in the background, and then this cool um, free Boba Fett sticker placed on the front here, which is pretty neat. When you flip it around onto the back, you can see an image of the original release of Grievous, as well as some of the other figures that were available in this wave. And then finally, there is a brief description of the line, and if you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and just pause the video. So overall, uh, pretty standard stuff, so let's go ahead and get back to the figure itself here. Now, General Grievous, as I've got him posed here, stands at almost five inches tall. So he's much larger than your average three and three quarter inch figure, uh, but that's perfect for this character. It makes him really stand out in a display, it makes him really intimidating and very cool. Um, and this figure continues on that trend by having a ton of accessories and features. So the first feature that you can do that are, are technically accessories are that you can pop off his chest. Uh, you can do that on both sides, let me do that. You can pop these panels off and you can kind of take a look at his internal organs in here. Pretty cool, you can kind of reenact some of the scenes from uh, Revenge of the Sith with this as well, which is really cool. The detail on there is absolutely fantastic. And honestly, the detail on this figure overall is absolutely fantastic. His next accessory is his cape. And as you can see here, um, it's got the printing on the back, which not even the Black Series figure did um, at a higher price point. Nice stitched, it's lined, and it's got the little pockets for his lightsaber hilts on the inside. Um, and then, you know, you can fit it on the figure, and it does suffer from some of the same problems that a lot of the capes and cloaks do, you know, in this scale, and that is that it doesn't, you know, always lay perfect. But frankly, they did such a nice job, I can't fault Hasbro for this. His next accessory is his blaster, and as you can see, no paint detail or anything on this, but it does look very nice. Then he does come with two lightsaber hilts here to place um, in his cape, very nicely detailed, and have some paintwork on them, which is nice. And then finally, he does come with two lightsabers. Now, one thing I don't like about this figure um, is that he doesn't come with all four lightsabers. However, honestly, for the original price tag of like somewhere around $10, I can't fault Hasbro because they give you so much with this figure. Now, as far as the articulation on this guy goes, um, it's it's amazing. It's one of the better ones for three and three quarter inch scale. Um, I'll go ahead and run through it here. He's got a ball peg in the head, nice range of motion. Then in the shoulders, he's got a ball hinge. And as you can see here, very nice range of motion. This does swivel 360. Now, he does have arms that are detachable. So you can split them. And I'm leaving this side um, all connected together to show you off how the articulation still works when they're connected, which is amazing. But we'll run through it on this side. He's got a swivel here in the bicep, a hinge at the elbow. Then he's got another swivel in the forearm and then one at the wrist and that is the same on all of the arms. So these ones, you can articulate them independently. He can hold all the, all the lightsabers that he comes with. He looks absolutely fantastic. Now on this arm, you won't be able to really use the swivels that much. You can kind of use it to twist the arm a little bit, um, but just make sure that the hinges are lined up and you can still use the elbows while the hand and arms are connected together, which is amazing. Really, really well done on Hasbro's part. He does have a single ball peg here at the, um, kind of at the stomach. Nice range of motion there. He's got swivel hips, excellent range of motion there. He's got double jointed knees, which is unheard of for a Star Wars three and three quarter inch figure. And then he's got hinged ankles with a swivel. And the swivel is at an ankle, or at an angle, so it is technically an ankle rocker. So honestly, this thing is absolutely fantastic. I will say it's not perfect. There are some problems. You know, like I said, he doesn't come with four lightsabers, even though he does have four arms. And he is made of a kind of rubbery plastic, as you can see here, his legs are a little rubbery, um, which can make him kind of hard to stand sometimes. And that's not helped by the fact that he doesn't have peg holes in his feet, really. Um, so, I don't know. It's something, it's, it's just some minor things that I think take away from an overall, you know, 
amazing figure. It's almost perfect, in fact. Um, and even with those flaws, I, I highly recommend all of you track down this figure. It's absolutely amazing, 100% worth adding to your collection. So if you have any comments or questions, hit me up on my social media. The link for that will be down in the description below. And I guess I'll see you later.